Thioesters have a sulfur in place of oxygen. The thio part of the name means sulfur. They're worth mentioning at least briefly because they have great biological relevance. I'll get back to that in a minute. First, let's take a look at their relative reactivity compared to other carboxylic acid derivatives. The four derivatives I've discussed have distinctly different reactivities, the acid chlorides being by far the most reactive, and hydrides reacting with water readily. And esters, not so much. They're actually stable in the presence of water, and amides very, very stable in the presence of many nucleophiles. Thioesters are more reactive than esters, and that's important biologically. I'll explain that in a minute. But enough more stable than anhydrides that they can exist in water. So we'll fit them in here in the table. Their relative reactivity is important to us for two reasons. First, because they're more reactive than esters, they make good intermediates in metabolism. They're readily formed and they react readily. And second, because it makes sense that these guys would be made from acid anhydrides. Typically, carboxylic acid derivatives that are less stable can be converted into ones that are more stable. So the anhydrides can be converted into the thioesters, which is how these guys typically are made in the laboratory. An anhydride, such as acetic anhydride, is treated with thiol. The thiol nucleophile replaces carboxylate to make the thioester. This is an example of nucleophilic acyl substitution, where the less stable derivative is converted into the more stable derivative. The mechanism is the typical mechanism we've been discussing, where we have nucleophilic addition directly to the carbonyl. Sulfur is a great nucleophile because it doesn't hold the electron pair tightly. So we see addition to carbonyl with the pi bond breaking. We form a tetrahedral intermediate that loses a leaving group, carboxylate. So it's the standard addition elimination mechanism. There's a plus charge on that sulfur. These are all reversible steps. And that acetate that's formed can remove a proton to form the final product. Using anhydrides together with thiols provides good yields of the thioesters. Now, a quick word about their biological relevance. The transfer of an acyl group, for example, to oxygen, as I've shown here, is an important reaction in metabolism. You recognize that this is a carboxylic acid derivative it has to have sufficient reactivity to be reactive under conditions of metabolism, roughly room temperature, for example, but not so reactive that it reacts with water and is rapidly destroyed. Thioesters are the perfect solution. For example, the building block acetate can be converted into acetyl thioester, This R often is a coenzyme A group. So this is called acetyl coenzyme A. Because it undergoes nucleophilic acyl substitution readily, this compound is used to make acetyl derivatives, such as the important neurotransmitter acetylcholine. The hydroxyl group with its lone pair of electrons is the nucleophile, and the product is a regular ester. So we've gone from a less stable to a more stable carboxylic acid derivative. There are plenty of other examples, including the synthesis of fatty acids and the synthesis of compounds that lead to steroids. So the take home is thioesters are important. They have just the right level of reactivity to be reactive under metabolic conditions, but not so reactive that they react with water. As a result, thioesters are very good acyl transfer reagents.